Reliable 100% fiber internet kaya ang sarap maging tambahay with Red Fiber. The Office of the Ombudsman dismisses bribery complaints against former Senator Laila De Lima and her ex-bodyguard Ronnie Dayan. Complaints against the two stemmed from the claim that De Lima allegedly received money from self-confessed drug lord Kerwin Espinosa in exchange for the protection of Espinosa's illegal drug trade. The resolution highlights the conflicting statements from Espinosa and witness Marcelo Adorco. The testimonies contradict each other on several points on how the alleged bribe money was delivered, what the tranches of delivery were, and whether De Lima was present to personally receive the money from Espinosa. In April 2022, Espinosa eventually cleared De Lima from all of his accusations. He says he was coerced, pressured, intimidated, and seriously threatened. Even Dayan recanted his statements against De Lima, saying he did it due to coercion. In February 2021, De Lima was acquitted in one of three conspiracy to commit drug trading charges against her. State auditors say the Budget Department's Procurement Service, or PSDBM, approved supply deals for personal protective equipment, or PPEs, not certified as safe by the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. The seven contracts from 2020 and 2021 had a combined worth of 1.39 billion pesos and were awarded by PSDBM despite their failure to obtain the mandatory Certificate of Medical Device notification that would have guaranteed the safety and quality of the products. Classified as PPEs were N95 medical masks, surgical masks, head covers, gloves, shoe covers, and gowns worn by medical workers. The Commission on Audit says the PPE covered by the contracts approved by PSDBM were not authorized for sale or public use because of the lack of safety certifications. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. Torrential rain hit South Korea's capital Seoul, leaving at least nine dead and about 2,800 homes and buildings damaged. The heavy downpour started Monday, August 8, and is still ongoing as of Wednesday, August 10, submerging some streets and buildings, trapping people in flooded apartments and stranding cars. The Korean Meteorological Administration says the accumulated rainfall in Seoul since midnight Monday stood at 525 millimeters as of 7 a.m. Wednesday. The KMA expects rain to continue in most parts of the country, but also predicts rainfall would gradually subside in many parts of the greater Seoul area and Gangwon province. American tennis star Serena Williams is retiring. On Tuesday, August 9, Williams says she is evolving away from tennis. On Monday, Williams played only her second singles match since she returned to action at Wimbledon in June after a year-long absence from competition, beating Spain's Nuria Parizas Diaz. Williams says she set up a venture capital firm a few years ago then started a family. Williams gave birth to her daughter Olympia in 2017. She is married to tech mogul Alex Ohanian. In an Instagram post, Williams says, The countdown has begun. I have to focus on being a mom, my spiritual goals, and finally discovering a different but just exciting Serena. Hollywood actor Ashton Kutcher discloses he suffered a rare autoimmune disorder that rendered him almost blind, deaf, and unable to walk for more than a year. In his Twitter, Kutcher says he was diagnosed with the autoimmune flare-up three years ago but has since recovered. Kutcher also says he will be at the 2022 New York Marathon. The National Health Service UK says vasculitis happens when a person's immune system attacks their own blood vessels, causing inflammation that may restrict or cut off the flow of blood. This could be triggered by an adverse reaction to medicine, an infection, or other causes. Kutcher rose to fame for his roles in That 70s Show, A Lot Like Love, and No Strings Attached. In 2014, he tied the knot with his That 70s Show co-star Mila Kunis. In 